So we're ready to start with our first handler. This is Karen Young with Natter, working bearded collie. Roxanata is the full kennel name. So Karen leading out. She's going to show us which way the course goes. So the long jump has gone down, so that's five faults. And that's a, a refusal there. And another refusal. So we're on 15 total. So if we get three refusals on the course at any point, that does mean that there's a nation. So we're on two at the moment. That's our third, unfortunately. So that is an elimination there for Karen and Natter. So what does ABC stand for? ABC stands for anything but a collie. So if you're watching agility events throughout the year or any of the other events here, you'll see that it's often dominated by collies, border collies that is. And um, so we have this competition to show that actually there's other breeds that are brilliant at agility and uh, can enjoy it as well. So that's what the ABC stands for. So next to go is Richard Britton. And his dog is called Neville. This is a Springer Spaniel. Neville the Nutcase, apparently. So there's that left turn on to the long jump. way around, down through the kennel club, jump into the weaves. They have to go into those weave poles with the first pole on their left shoulder. Into the tunnel. <laughs> Just getting those turns in. Jersey is all about speed and accuracy. So kind of trying to cut those turns down as much as possible to make the time as quick as possible. So here we go, into the final straight. Well done, Richard. 38.485, that goes into first place. Well done. So next to go. This is Debbie Prince with Poppy. North of the border again. And uh, this is a Labrador. Working Labrador, Highfield Princess is her full kennel name. She's going to turn left on that jump. Handlers can choose which uh, way they handle things as long as they follow the numbers in consecutive order. So you'll see all sorts of different options being used by our handlers, depending on how their dog runs, etc. So down to the tunnel. Around the back of that one. Down into that final straight. Oh, well done, it's another clear round. Well done, Debbie. 40.915 goes into second place. Well done. Okay, so. <laughs> Look at that celebration. Just got to do it again later as well. Well done. Okay, Gemma Swan is on the line. This is Harry Bobo. This is his uh, pet name. This is Jack Russell. Ollie's little halo kid. This is his uh, full kennel name. He was competing here yesterday, actually. I believe in the noise. running in the main green yesterday. That was a good job. Jimmy going for this one. Our agility round later will be running in reverse order, so Gemma's trying to do her best to get a good time. Come on, Gemma. Yeah, well done. Well done, 35. 6 one zero is the time, goes into the lead. Well done, Gemma. So, next to go, Kirsty Campbell. Yay! With Inca, this is a Hungarian Vista. Jason du Napos, or Napos. So, that's five faults for the pole. <laughs> Kirsty will know that she needs to keep going. You should just never know what everyone else is going to do when you are accumulating the results. She still has to go through those two wings. Even though the poles are all around. Coming down to the tunnel. It's a good time. That's a lovely turn there. Come on, K. 
Kirsty. Well done, 36.291 with five forks. Okay, next to go. This is Isaac Hartley, this is uh, Kira. This is a crossbreed, Kamikaze Kira. Okay, Tracy Hunt is next. This is another Hungarian Vistler. This is Loki. Russet Valley Rakos. So just getting settled on the start line. And uh, actually he won last year. So that is the ball that he set himself. Tracy Morrell, Zebedee, German shorthead pointer. A.T. Harvest Harlequin. So this is a German shorthead pointer. And uh, if you're inspired by the agility that you're watching today, if you'd like to give it a go with your dog, then just go and talk to the Kennel Club officials at the Kennel Club stand and they'll be able to tell you all about the clubs that are uh, in your area and how to register your dog so that you can compete. Oh, lovely run. 36.925. Well done. That goes into second place. Well done, Tracy. So, time to beat is 35.610. Next on the line, Kirsty Dix with Purdy, the Labrador. Pilning Polly is her full name. That's a nice turn there. Left, left, left. Oh, a bit wide. But no faults incurred, just lost a little bit of time. Down into the tunnel. Kirsty swapping sides there. 
put the brakes on to make this turn. Well done. Getting a good turn there. Down to the tunnel. Climbing nicely into that. Round the back of this one to... Go on, Kirsty, go on. Yeah, well done. Look at that, ladies and gentlemen. By point one. By point one of a second goes into the lead. Well done. That's why in agility we have three hundredths of a second on the clock because it can be so close. That's cracking run, even with a, a slight waste of time as well. Down in the far corner. So Kirsty Dix goes into first place with Pilning Polly. 35.594. And that was the large dogs. As you can see, our ring party are putting the jumps down to medium.